Hello, Esmeralda. You ask whether it's possible to preview or pre-listen audio files in Nuendo with the Media Bay with using plugins or audio effects. And I show you how this one works. So here is Nuendo. We have a look at my audio setup. Here are my outputs. I've got four output buses, stereo 5.1, 7.1.4, and trigger. Trigger doesn't matter. You can see this one is routed directly to my interface, the ASIO Fireface, but the other three buses are not connected. But I can hear something. Why can I hear something? Because the stereo out is used by the control room. And the control room, here you can see my monitor stereo left right is connected to RDAT1 and RDAT2. So this is the audio level of my control room. Here I can change the volume. And there are much more benefits. Okay, now we go to the media bay and say we want to listen to some vocals here. My body. My God. My house is mine. Okay, great. And I want to use the little altar boy. Now I'm using the insert effects of the control room. Let's say robot pitch drive just a little bit. So let's listen to them. My house is mine. My God. It's not simply a question of getting out. Okay, and let's reduce the low frequencies. For this one, I use the Simplon. Let's do this. Okay, awesome. So, and now let's listen to the music. Sounds really damaged because the music is played back via the control room too. So now I'm using the little altar by and Simplon. Let's bypass them. So every time when I'm using the, the arrangement, I could deactivate all those plugins. And when I want to listen to them, I got to activate them. But this doesn't make fun. So I show you the workaround. First, I go to the audio connections, to the outputs, and now let's create a bus. Let's call it fake. And right click, set fake as main mix. So now the control room plays back everything that has been routed to fake. And let's disconnect this one. So when I play back the music now, I can't hear anything, but you can see it's been routed to stereo out and this one works. So the stereo out is not played back with the control room here because it's not the main mix. This one is the main mix fake. But now we can route stereo out directly to the interface. Let's say this and this and now I can listen to the music. but without the benefits of the control room. And now when I'm using the media bay and activate all the plugins here. It's not simply a question of getting out. My house is mine. We've got independent effects here. So let's play back the music and now try some of the vocal samples. Okay, so now I take this file and drag it, drop into the arrangement. Now it's creating a new audio track, a new file. Let's listen. Okay, awesome. But 
there can be some traps. Because when you now export this file, you go to file and file, sorry, file and then export audio mix down and then you will choose bus or choose the stereo output. You won't hear the vocals. But why? Let's listen. Uh, let's have a look to the output. You see here the output is fake. It's not as all the other files or just this one stereo out. It's fake because my main mix is fake. This file, which I drag and dropped to here, has been routed to fake. So I can hear it during the playback, but not when I exported this one. So I can do the routing to stereo. And for this solution, just create a lot of tracks before you do this. And you can call them uh, vocals. Let's do it now. I create, let's say, five tracks. And we name them vocals. Awesome. And now, when I've got other files, I like just drag and drop them. And now they are rooted correctly. So here is the next trap. Here you can see stereo. It's been rooted correctly. And now just let's listen to this part. It's not simply a question of getting hot. Well, okay, it's here, but without the effects I used during the preview or pre-listen pre in the control room. It's not simply a question of getting hot. So this should be the sound. It's not simply a question of getting hot. Okay. So it's very easy. I just can drag and drop the files and copy them by using the Alt key to this channel. And now all the files I copy to this track got the same internet effects. And there is another possibility because internet effects use DSP power. Now I open the direct offline processing by using F7. And now I can drag and drop these files just to here. Now we can listen to them. No, here. <laughs> Yeah, and when I like this one, let's go to here. And now we say pitch effects. And when we've got other files here, and we drag them to here, just choose this one, choose this favorite. And it's using the fa the same effects too. Yeah, I hope I could help you a little bit. At the left top, you can see eight benefits of the control room. And when I could help you, please give me a thumb up. Would make me very happy. When you get some more questions or suggestions, just leave a comment and see you the next time. Bye.